Hi, Karen. Um, I uh, hear you. What's the lowest note you can play on a on a flute? On most flutes, it's low C. This is a key for one note lower. There's the C. Okay. Now, what's the highest note? It's three octaves higher, right? What's the highest note? It's a high C. You can get a D, and I could get it if I work hard, but I'm not going to work hard right now. So the oh, C okay. Okay, so you just played the lowest and highest notes. Now, can you go back to that mm -hmm. low C and play all the harmonics between it and the highest note? Okay. So high C, three octaves higher. to be flat. And now can you play the, the one before the harmonic? No, the one the, the, That's the, the G right there. The G. Now, now you have a hard time getting that note. Lift up your thumb. And it's there's almost a regular, there's a regular fingering. Now put the thumb back on. It's a harmonic. Okay. Now, this regular fingering becomes a harmonic of another lower note. It actually is a harmonic of the G. Could you play the, the not the lowest, the lowest G you can play? Now I'll play the harmonics up in it. Pick up the thumb now. Now what's... Now what she did on that G, the high G, was she lifted her thumb, which forces a node, which forces a node and keeps the, keeps the low note from coming out. In other words, she wants to get rid of those lower harmonics, particularly the fundamental. And that's what she does when she picks up that thumb on her G. Now, once you hear the difference, again, that's the main thing. When she plays it the, the bad way, there's some low sounds in there, some lower. Hear those lower notes? Now, eliminate them. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, Karen, can you tell me what is that sound that you get that makes it waver like? What's that called? What's that called? What's it called? It's, it's a vibrato and it's done by <clears throat> partially closing the throat. And it's the same muscle you use when you cough, <coughs> except that you don't do it completely that way and you don't do it as forcefully. So that you partially close the throat and it constricts the airway which results in a change in volume, which probably really results in a very slight change of pitch because you're changing the volume, but I don't think your ear can pick that up. Oh, do it again, so see if we can all it, hear that. I'll do it slowly. There is a slight change in pitch. Some players play with a, a vibrato that has a big change in pitch. I don't particularly like it. So why don't you see if you can imitate it a little faster. They play a little faster. Hey. It's just like a singer. You try to to change it in you don't always have one constant sound but you try to add it on and subtract it because it adds to the musicality of whatever it is you're doing
Play another little piece for us. That, that,